Welcome back to Lou Fru Fru Studio and the next uh, edition of the Hashtag Color Combo 2023. We are starting month 10 in our challenge and we are also starting um, with a new color, of course, like we do every month. And this month, our focus is going to be on uh, shades of orange. So, for today, the first week is Rust in Olive Green. And I am going to do a double spread in my journal. And this one has lots of parts and pieces to it. So, I'm going to jump right in and get started and uh, put this one together, hopefully, in um, rel relatively short time. Um, and I hope you guys like it. So, again, colors, rest and olive. So, I have several pieces that I'm going to be using, but it started with this belly band that I um, had made previously. Um in a mask make, and uh, it has a lot of the rusty colors in it. Not as much green, but we're going to take care of that. But I thought this would be a good start. Um, and I have some more of these little kind of jazzy scrap bits, um, you know, that have to do with jazz music. And so, I've pulled out those, and I'm going to kind of incorporate some of those in as well. Um, the paper kit for this, um, I believe, is Chow Bella. Um, I'm not sure. I've had it a while, and that's why I just have some little bits left. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this belly band right here. And so, that can be drying. I'm not going to put anything else on that page. However, I am going to stuff it, um, you know, once it's dry. And I can already tell I should have put some glue in my little art glitter glue bottle there before I started, but hopefully we'll have enough to, to get through this video. Okay, while that's drying, I'm going to focus over here, and what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to use, put a background on here, and I'm going to use this Tim Holtz backdrop that's kind of an olive green color. And I'm also going to put a pocket, um, but I'm going to get this piece down first. What's on the back side? Okay, so it's pretty sturdy back there. Do I want to leave part of this really cool ledger? I think I do. So I think I'm going to kind of tear this. So that I can just get some of this green in the background. And actually we can leave that a pocket if we wanted to. Alright, and then we're going to cut it about right there. Just take my scissors and cut it off here. So I hope everyone is doing wonderful. I know I've been watching some of the videos and um, people have been mentioning that the weather is cooling off where they are. It's not been miserably hot here, but it's definitely not been fall-like weather either. I'm ready for it, though. 
All right, so what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna kind of mix music, um, and then I'm also gonna kind of mix urban with nature because I like that mixture together. I don't know why, I just do. And um, so we're gonna try to emulate that. Now, I have this scrapbook paper that kind of looks like a brick wall. And this is what I'm going to make my pocket out of. And I am going to fold it so that it has a gusset. Okay, so basically what I did is, it's hard to work in this book and stay on camera, so I'm going to try to do the best I can. So basically what I did is I just folded both edges in. Now I'm going to take a little fold at the bottom. Like that. And then I'm going to cut off these corners like that so when I fold this up I have like a little gusset that makes my pocket just a little bit deeper now this is just it's it's a little bit heavier than copy paper or printer paper but it's not um, it's not a full scrapbook weight, but it kind of has, you know, the rust color in the kind of green tint, like here, especially. So now I'm going to glue that on. I am going to put a little notch in the top of it. I'm just going to kind of eyeball where that goes and I'm going to ink it up with some vintage photo And glue my pocket on. Alright, so that gives us a nice gusseted pocket here. And it gives us our belly bin here. So that's basically our backgrounds and getting us started. So now comes all the fun part. So, I've got some, just a piece of music paper. I've got some music staff paper that doesn't have any music on it. Um, and I have some player piano paper. And we're going to incorporate all of these um, as we go through and make our little tags and stuff for the for the pot for the pockets in the belly bin but the first thing i'm going to do is decorate this pocket because it's going to carry most of the decoration and um kind of really get our colors popping so i did some die cutting and i used tim holtz cardstock the colored cardstock and I picked out kind of a rusty color and a olive color green. 
and I'm just going to take a few of these and place them on the pocket. Kind of like that, I think, just to kind of get some naturey kind of things in there. So, and I want this guy on here. Let me figure out first. Okay, so. I think I want that about right there. So, I'm going to put that down. And this is from that same music paper. Jazz music paper. Alright, and then I have cut out the letters. For the word music that are also that were also in the kit. And I'm gonna put them on the sign just kind of willy-nilly. Uh-oh, where's my eye? There it is. It's kind of like that. And then I have this no parking sign. Again, nice and rusty. This is from another kit, and I have no clue what the name of it is. I have very few pieces left of it. But I'm going to put the no parking sign kind of like that. And then, of course, you know, I have to have a bird because I just have to have a bird. It's just the way it is. I like birds. I don't know anything about birds, really, other than they're pretty and they sound pretty and they poop on my Jeep. That's about my extent of bird knowledge. He's gonna go like he's standing on the top of the sign right here. That little corner right there does not want to cooperate gluing down. That's for sure. Okay. Now we can put our little flowers. Now that I have a better idea of where all that is. Just going to glue them down and then I'll cut them off. However, I need to. Oh, come on. They're going to all get hung together here.
Okay, I'll see if I can duplicate that now. Probably not. It'll probably look a little different. But that's okay. So I'm going to drop that one down a little bit. Oops, don't be moving on me now. trim that one off because it moved on me and I don't think I can oh maybe I can manipulate it I hope everybody's still enjoying the challenge I appreciate you guys hanging with me throughout it it's been a lot of fun I think we've gotten rid of a lot of scraps that's for sure that's always a good thing. Oh my goodness. Have my scissors upside down. That's why they wouldn't cooperate with me there for a minute. And then one more green right on the top to kind of finish that off. Okay, and I have a couple more, but I don't know. We need to do something on this side. Or if we want to just leave it. Yeah, let's do those just to kind of balance it out. A little bit.
let me manipulate that knee and bring her up. So it's not covering too much of my M and you can still see that it says music there. All right, so there's our pocket. Now basically all we're gonna do is make some little cards and things to fill the pocket. So I have a couple of round pieces from the kit. I have this lovely little jazz singer lady. And we have this little quote, and it says, anyone can make the simple complicated. Creativity is making complicated simple. And it's by Charles Mingus. And I assume he is a jazz musician, if I had to guess. I don't know that much about jazz music. So I thought we'd make cute little round tags out of these by um, putting little grommets in the top of it. And I'm going to use the tiny ones. I don't know if I have any more of that. Oh, I have tons of that color. I don't know why I thought I was running low. So we're gonna use that same coppery color that's in the belly band. That one. That one. Let me look at my box. I don't think I have any close by that same embroidery. Lost. I think it's on. Oh, wait, maybe this is it. Yes. Okay. So we'll put that same floss through the top. I thought for sure it would be over in my. Where my other flosses are, but I guess I threw it back in that drawer. Oh, I can't get it through there. There we go. All right. 
So there's those two. Next, I have this piece of cardstock, which is Tim Holtz, I believe. But I like the kind of urban feel of it, and I also like that it does have a lot of the greens and the kind of rust colors. So I'm just going to nip the sides and put a hole in the top and make a tag out of this. So I'm going to take my crocodile that does the angles. And a lot of people say that they don't like this tool because they don't feel like that it um, makes a big enough angle. But I actually prefer the single. I don't like, and I'll show you on a tag that came with the kit. Um, I don't like the bigger angle on a tag. I think it looks out of proportion. All right, then let's put a whole reinforcer on there. Just for looks. It doesn't need it, obviously. It's pretty pretty thick cardstock. Alright, so there's that tag. And I don't know at this point what I'm if I'm gonna do anything else to that. I just want to get my basis prepared. Alright, so there's three tags. Let me find the one that I was talking about. Okay, this one. This one came out of the kit. And you see how big this is? I don't like that. I think that looks out of proportion. It's a very cute tag. But to me, that's just too big of an angle on there. So I'm going to poke a hole in it. Probably didn't put that far enough down to put a hole. Reinforcer on there. Oh yeah, it's okay. I'm just going to fold it over. Alright, so there's that tag. I think that's a cute one. I like it with the breast and the record on there. We're just going to have all kinds of room in these pockets. Okay, this one is Tim Holtz. And it's tickets. And I'm going to make this one a journal card. And obviously I'm going to have to cover the back because it's too dark. So I'm going to get a piece of... Will this fit? Close enough. I'm going to use this graph paper here that I had left over from Amy's 50 Stock Challenge make that I did the other day. And I'm going to put that on the back of there because that can be written on. Get my glue book over here. I'm 
I'm probably going to be off screen for a minute, guys, but I'm just going to put glue on the back of this so that I can glue it onto the back of that card. Like I said, when you're working in a big book like that and you're trying to work in the book and stay on screen, you kind of, your space is limited. I think I might round the corners just to give it a finished look and get it good and smushed down. And for that, I'm going to use my rounder crocodile, and I'm going to use the bigger. So there's that base. Okay, and then I have this that is out of a planner and I would say, you know, it's fine, you can write on it, but I'm wondering who's gonna fit in here. I want it for a journal card. Somewhere, I could put it here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And I think I am just going to leave it just like it is. Alright, so there's our bases. So we will have, you know, do we want the tickets here? No, I think we want them here. And then I think we want the numbers here. And then we have our little jazz lady, we have our little circle, and we have our little record tag. Now, looking at this, I'm, I'm happy with everything. It's, oh, and I was going to use this little, just to stick in a piece of real ephemera. This is a um, railway ticket, which is... an actual piece of ephemera, vintage ephemera. I feel like we need green, more green. So I think I'm going to take this other piece that I pulled out. And maybe make a journal card out of that. And that may be what we use our little pieces of music paper and stuff on. Yep, I think so. So let's do that. What is on the back side of this? Oh yeah, it's got to be lightened up for sure. All right. So, reaching for a piece of what do I want to put? Hmm. Didn't want to have to use the whole other piece. I may have to. What's this? 
Let's use some ledger paper. That'd be something interesting. All right. So again, I'm going to put some glue on here. Let's just put a little collage or something down to make that more interesting. All right, I'm going to move this to the side for a sec. There we go. All right, so we have some music paper. I'm just going to tear off these kind of white parts. Maybe. Just trying to get an idea right now of what I'm going to do here. I don't know that those have enough contrast in color. I am going to use this for a little tab. It's like a little keyboard. That makes any sense. A little speed limit sign, and that really doesn't make any sense. So, what are we going to do here? Do I have left? Have this. If you have to ask what jazz is, you'll never know. I'm not too thrilled with that. I do need something rust colored though.
me cut that little piece. And it's part of the tickets. Hmm. I'm stumped, guys. I do know I want to put that on there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, come on. You notice I'm proceeding without a plan. So whatever happens, I guess it's going to happen in this particular case. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to glue that on kind of like a belly band here. And then I think what we can do is take this and put it in there. And put this across here. And again, I'm just trying to get a little bit more of that kind of rusty color. Let's see what it looks like in the pocket. That's probably not necessary to put this on there. But we will check it out. So we're going to bring the book back up here. Alright, so if we now stick that in there, and the biggest part of it, it's not going to even show with all this other stuff in here. Okay. Do we want to put a string in that too? I think so. Maybe we put this tag in the back. This in the back. And have that in the front. Yeah, I like that better. And then we can even manipulate this a little bit if we want to. Alright, so there we go. I got that a little long. I believe that's got it. See, I put that green back there. Now I feel like this page is more green and this page is more rust, but that's okay.
we can live with that. Maybe. Maybe we can. There we go. And I don't think I'm going to do anything to that. It's pretty busy as it is. So... I don't really feel like it needs anything else um, to busy it up. The only other thing I have really is the speed limit sign. I mean, it could go on the book page. Yeah, I am going to put that there. I like that there. All right. So there we go, guys. Here's this week's Color Combo 2023. I hope you enjoyed it rust and olive green and next week actually I'll go go ahead and give you the next three um, next week is coral and teal the week after that is pumpkin orange and navy blue and the last week is creamsicle and pink so get ready for those and be digging out your orange colors and um i'm curious to see what you come up with i love watching uh your videos and also seeing you post on instagram if you do post on instagram be sure and use the hashtag color combo 2023 uh because that's how i search for your post um i think that's it if anybody has any questions, uh, if you're looking for previous weeks, um, I don't really have like a printed list or anything anywhere, but if you search hashtag color combo 2023 on, uh, Instagram, you'll see where I took a photo of my list that has a couple of months listed at a time. And you can search that way. Or if you want to search through my videos, I do have a playlist with all of them. And usually the third week, so every third video, I go ahead and give you the next week or the next month's prompts. So you can probably, you know, search like week three and have the next week and so forth and so on. So, but if you have any problems locating those or want to know what a particular week is, just send me a message on either Facebook or Instagram and I will respond to you as quickly as I can. And again, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so and join in on the fun. And I will see you guys back on Thursday for I Saw It on Pinterest. Until then, everybody continue to have a great week. Bye.